Each week we take time in our service to talk about generosity. The ways that we can use the resources that God has graciously given us through avenues like tithe and offering to fuel the mission of being disciples that make more disciples. And one week out of the month, we take time to sort of look back over the financial realities of the previous month. Because again, as I say every time, this is our church. And these are the resources God has given us to faithfully steward. So I've got an image here that that shows the financial realities for the month of April. And as I'm sure you can tell, our expenses again were higher than uh, our income. Our expenses for the month of April were $13,358, where our income was only $8,015, which leaves a deficit of $5,343. And overall for the year, we're just over $8,000 under our targeted expenses uh, compared to our expected giving. Okay, I want you to know some of this is not a surprise. As I mentioned in last month's update, we have some bigger one-time expenses that come this time of year uh, that won't be there moving forward, like things like taxes and, and insurance. We've also been doing some work on the building, and that's reflected in this amount. Uh, we replaced the siding on the, the west side of the sanctuary, and even just a few weeks ago, the, be- the, the beginning of April, uh, we had the parking lot retrofitted with LED fixtures. So some of those things are reflected in the expenses, and, and we've got already designated funds that will, will help with those projects. Uh, but I also just want you to know this, okay? Our, our giving uh, is down. Like we typically hover around $10,000 in our income giving, and we're well short of that. So I just want to encourage you to continue to be faithful in giving tithe and offering. That is something the Lord calls us to. And it's a way that we steward all that he has provided us. Okay, we talk a lot about right, being disciples, as I said earlier, that make more disciples. And faithful giving is part of your discipleship. It's part of my discipleship. It's a way that we reflect the heart of our generous God. So as a leadership, the board of administration and, and me as your pastor, we're not worried. We trust the Lord, right? This is ultimately his. And, and if we go back to that, gra- that the graphic one more time, we, we continue to, to be ahead of our target in our missions giving. And that's a huge deal. Okay? It means that we get to be more generous than expected towards our missions partners, which I'll continue to share more about as we go throughout this year. I'm going to keep reminding you of this, Oasis. You are a generous people. So thank you for your continued faithful giving. 